Hi Scorpios, this is your weekly reading from May the 16th to the 23rd. Sorry it's a little late this week, I apologize. Um, life gets busy sometimes. Um, if this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, if it doesn't, check your moon and rising sign because you can be in that energy as well. Alright, so let's see what we have for you this week. All right, we kind of are starting off with kind of two different notes here, which is interesting. So we have the Four of um, Wands, which is kind of like the coming home card. Um, we can also talk about foundation, um, kind of can talk about celebration, things like that. So you might be celebrating something right now. Um, also, it's the coming home card as well. It, 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 it could represent that maybe you're traveling to home or something you're doing right now kind of feels like a new home for you, or you could be getting a new home, renting a new home, anything kind of like that, that that celebration, that foundational um, aspect, there's this foundational celebration here I see for you. But it's interesting because you have the Empress reversed um, kind of en energy and the Empress reversed is still kind of a block of um, the feminine. It's kind of a block of um, about feeling a block of abundance. It might be um, pregnancy issues, things like that. So there is this kind of thing that's still kind of wavering over the celebration. Um, again, with the Empress Reverse, it kind of is this feeling of we're not feeling abundant. Um, we're not feeling like things kind of just naturally kind of move towards us here. Um, so let's kind of see what this is kind of all about. Um, so there is, again, with that celebration, there is that foundational element, but it's saying, they're saying here that there's a little bit of still of um out of balance things are a little bit out of balance for you um right now with the temperance card reverse um kind of feels like again we have the celebration going on but we're still not in a grounded um grounded place i'll just kind of say that um and i see what kind of um what uh, scorpio can do here to kind of balance themselves out a little bit uh, it's a lot of fear, okay? It's a lot of um, fear that is kind of uh, blocking us and getting in our way. Um, and you're like, well, how do I get rid of kind of this fear of moving forward? It's just telling yourself to have the strength, to kind of the strength to kind of um, go through the fire because we've got the strength card reverse. And when that kind of pops up for me, Scorpio, um, it kind of talks about our um, fear kind of really winning in the situation. Um, so they're just asking you, especially the universe, um, your guides and everything like that, they're just asking you to remain strong. Um, kind of, I'm getting really the imagery of kind of like through the fire. They really want you to kind of just go, just push yourself, have the strength to carry on. Um, of course, there might be some moments of doubt, um, having some um, moments of doubt, moments where fear are kind of winning or taking over for you. But it's just telling you, you got this, you know, just keep kind of going through the fire because there is this kind of victory here for you. Okay, there's a tower reversed here, which tower reversed for me kind of means um, situation, again, seeing something early um, and seeing what kind of needs to be fixed or changed here. Um, it could be a change of perspective because it's it, it's kind of, again, the cloud reverse is kind of like close call energy where it's um, basically from, we found something, we made some changes here um, to ourselves before we kind of had a major meltdown. So maybe this is you in a sense, maybe this is you seeing kind of the things in your life that maybe need to change a little bit, maybe to balance yourself out, to kind of rid that fear for you to kind of be successful here, for you to kind of create this um, foundational celebration for yourself. Because right after that, we have the Four of Cups reverse, which for me is all about um, seeing the signs, um, seeing what kind of it needs to change, seeing that maybe the universe also has your back here a little bit. So trust it a bit more, because again, it, it was this energy of feeling um, lack before, um, this energy of your fear kind of taking over um, the outcome here. Again, I kind of get this almost um, all consuming kind of um, energy with this, which is kind of like... I don't know, uh, anxiety, I guess. It kind of feels like a ball of like energy, but it feels to me that you kind of were just like trusting a bit more of the universe and being open to maybe um, different doors and different things like that. I get like more of a relaxed um, energy here a little bit. And I think that was your tower moment there. You kind of realized that like, hey, you know, I, I, it kind of feels like, hey, you felt like you maybe didn't have to push so hard. Um, you kind of trusted the universe a bit more. Let me get more on this kind of four of cups. Um, on this kind of four cups reverse and this tower reverse for Scorpio.
for Scorpio. This tower reversed and this four of cups reversed, please. For Scorpio, this tower reversed. Interesting. You have a clear choice here with the Seven of Cups reverse, but then you also have the Seven of Swords, which is kind of sneaky energy. Um, maybe you kind of found out something, Scorpio, or you found out someone maybe was being a bit sneaky this week, or um, you were feeling this kind of sneaky energy and that kind of helped you kind of decide where to go and what step to do. I don't know, I'm trying to instantly figure out what this kind of sneaky kind of energy is here. This person that maybe not telling the truth or maybe someone that's trying to kind of take from you here. Um, so you might be discovering that this week, maybe you see someone's intentions clearly and then you realize what is the right path forward. What is this kind of sneaking energy with the Seven of Swords? What is this sneaking energy with the Seven of Swords? For Scorpio, the sneaking energy for the Seven of Swords. The Nine of Cups. Just give me a second. I'm trying to figure out what they're trying to tell me here. Clear choice. Sneaking. I feel like this, uh, again, this uh, clear choice, whatever the choice you made here will kind of lead to your wish fulfillment. It's almost just like, I don't know, it, it, it kind of feels like whatever the sneaking energy was, you kind of caught it before it was too late, whether it's yourself, like sneaking yourself out of opportunity um, or whatever it is here, whatever kind of redirect we have, whatever we were more open to, to the universe here, it's going to lead to our wish fulfillment. Um, it's going to lead to, you know, us feeling kind of pretty in our emotions. And it's funny that there's this little bit of sneaking energy though, that's kind of, that's sneaking in there. Um, I think it was maybe a little bit sneaky from yourself. You were just kind of, um, Maybe feeling like things aren't going to go away your way. You were kind of feeling um, left out, maybe, that someone was trying to uh, sneak, take from you, or, or someone wasn't telling the truth. But I think now you're kind of sitting pretty in your thoughts here with the, with the Nine of Cups here. Because we also have the King of Cups, so it's all kind of, and that's upright, so we're, that's here is talking about our emotions. So it seems like we might feel this King of Cups energy now. Maybe we're sneaking ourselves out of happiness a little bit, or we're sneaking ourselves out of the good part of life. Because um, it kind of feels um, here that now there's this sitting pretty energy in our emotions, feeling good, feeling like our cup is fulfilled, feeling like our emotional side is fulfilled, sitting pretty in this kind of wish fulfillment energy here. So maybe you were kind of sneaking yourself out of that. Um, you know, not allowing yourself to just sit there and enjoy all the accolades of all the things that you've kind of done, you know, all the progress that you have done emotionally and, um, being at where you are today. Maybe that's some of the outer balance here, right? The Empress energy here. That was out of balance where we were letting fear um, take over um, situations and it was causing kind of more confusion for us. Um, and it was causing us to kind of sneak ourselves out of um, a wish fulfillment or a little bit of happiness here. So it seems like whatever was in conflict is kind of done here with the Five of Swords. It seems like whatever it was, whatever battle it seems like we were facing, um, seems like it's coming to a closure now and we're all kind of walking away from that conflict. Might have been with a Virgo as well because I have the Hermit card here. Um, if not, it's just saying like you're going to have some alone time right now or um, maybe you did have some alone time to kind of work on some of this um, stuff that we're going through here because the Hermit is all about drawing back. Um, I'm just feeling this energy here, Scorpio. I'm feeling this energy of, um, you don't have to push as much as you're pushing, is what they're trying to tell me. It was like the moment you took a step back and just kind of, um, 
went inward a little bit and kind of focused on that kind of stuff, it seems like other opportunities kind of come towards you anyways. And I think what the universe was trying to tell you here, and that's the kind of mini lesson that we were um, learning with the Tower Reverse, is when we were finding the gratitude and finding the things that were good in our life here. Um, it almost didn't seem like so much of a battle. We weren't really like, um, we were more going with the flow of things. We were more kind of uh, taking some time for ourselves here. And then opportunities are kind of just coming towards us anyways. Um, and because when we kind of stable our energy here, when we get kind of um, back on the groove, we kind of are feeling, I don't know, we, we feel more, uh, we're more open and more receptive to the information that's kind of coming into us. It's interesting, there is this unhappy family card here. So let me just see what this unhappy family card is. Some of you might be dealing with some family drama, or maybe that um, for some of you, if there was was drama um, happening or around in your either social circle or um, drama kind of in general, you're gonna have this new re renewal this week. You're gonna have this new um, energy, this new kind of um, happiness, this good feeling kind of I'm getting in your tummy as well. Um, it seems like whatever the situation is, it will fix itself it's going to work itself out because with this right after the happy family card it seems like we're going to have a new emotional beginning whatever this was whatever this um either family friends um work circle anything here that was kind of unhappy and not kind of going our way um feeling disconnected we're now feeling this new renewal with this kind of family energy here and i feel like that was a time um after we kind of took some time for ourselves because there was a little bit of pain here with this family there was a little bit of sadness or depression um but again it's all about this renewal kind of an energy it's funny we have it after the um, the hair front here of Scorpio. So it could mean, um, again, you might be dealing with a uh, Virgo. Uh, Hierophant is all about Taurus. So maybe you're feeling a little bit of heartbreak or sadness here about a Taurus. Um, but it seems like whatever kind of uh, maybe arguments or fights that you were having here, it seems like things are going to be back um, again, Gucci. Um, Gucci, Gucci. We feel we're feeling good again. There's this new kind of fulfillment here. The Hierophant, it also represents maybe a mentor or higher counsel. So maybe this was someone, again, that you looked up to and you were kind of not really agreeing with um, or having some um, you were worried kind of about them or something like that it's um maybe upset with this mentor you there's a bit of sadness here for them but again there's this renewal energy here um so don't stress out about that okay so let's pull up some um oracle cards Scorpio. oh that one flew. for scorpio For Scorpio, please. There we go. Okay. So we have the Thinking Man reversed in our Energy Oracle. So let's just read that out. The Thinking Man is in the position that could represent a male authority who is not acting in your best interest. But this card reversed is more about you than it is about um, others in your life. This card is in this position. It usually indicates such a learning and growth are actually part of your own path and you're not heading or you're not heeding the call. You may be um, designated to be a therapist, teacher, writer, uh, publisher, a psychic healer or some sort. Your soul longs to serve in this capacity, whether professional or just in your professional life. But something seems to be blocking your way. It's time to break through and move into this direction now. Remember what you're learning during your own growth. You'll be able to share with others and often adding to your own compassion and profound personal wisdom. And I think those that that's the kind of the mini lesson here that we're talking about with the tower card reversed um, that we're learning and we're talking about with this hermit time of going inward. Um, how these kind of lessons are kind of important to us right now and, and when we're kind of growing ourselves and we kind of see the world kind of grow around us. All right, and then the um, energy oracle, or sorry, the um, starseed oracle you got was Lost Lands. Soul memories, gifts, you've done this before. The world is far more ancient than our documented history suggests. As souls, many of us have experienced ancient eras on this planet that were much more advanced than ours today. 
As we begin to remember these times, the rememberings and the gifts can come flooding back. At this stage in the Earth's timeline, we need your uh, we need the wisdom of ancients to survive as a species. You're being called to connect with the lost wisdom of your own soul. If you feel guided to make a change in your life, to step into a new uh, career path, uh, birth of a creation, or bring the idea to life, but feel unprepared, this card is calling you to consider uh, what you have done before this. Perhaps your soul has wisdom beyond what your lifespan can imagine. Perhaps the intuitive um, hits and the ideas you are receiving are divinely guided. Perhaps you've been preparing for this for a long time. Something the lost lands exist in the past. Others believe they exist today in different dimensions. I believe these, um, these ancient lands also exist in the souls of those who experience them. If this card comes to you, perhaps the wisdom of the last, uh, lost lands exists within you. And through surrendering to the intelligence of your soul, you can unlock the seeds that these ancient lands can call and learn from our mistakes and usher in a new age. And I think with the lost lands, what we're kind of talking about here is, you know, kind of remembering the things, remembering the things that bring us joy, that bring us happiness here. Because it seems like we were almost thieving ourselves out of that um, emotional fulfillment. Um, but this week, that changes. All right, Scorpio, this is your weekly reading. I hope this helped.